Hello guys, it's me, Bad Jokes, back at you once again with another video. And today, guys, we've got episode number one of a brand new series here on the channel. This is going to be my Build a Nation Challenge series, where, as you can see, I'm going to be managing Mumbai City FC. But not only that, we're also going to be managing the Indian national team with the end goal to hopefully be to take Mumbai City to the Continental Trophy in Asia and to take India to winning a World Cup. So a big, big challenge in a big, big country and we are managing in a big, big city. A city that never sleeps, a city that never stops, a city that deserves some footballing success. Hopefully I'm going to be the one to bring it to them. And so let's go through this first screen here. Mumbai have today confirmed the appointment of Bad Jokes as the club's new manager. Eyebrows have been raised in the world of football at the appointment of the 49-year-old. Oi, I don't look 49. Oi, that's a bit rude. But oh well. And well, I've put pen to paper on a two on a two-year deal. That's good. Worth £1.7 thousand a week. Very nice amount of money there. Would not mind that in real life. And so, what's up next? Uh, the chairman, Andrew Naik, would like to formally welcome us to Mumbai. To get you acquainted with your new surroundings, you'll receive the introductory welcome pack before going on to finalise the vision and objectives we're here to proceed together with. OK, and so the club is one and a half star reputation. They haven't got a director of football. They've got an assistant manager, Marco Leite. Can I click on him yet? No, I can't. I'll click on him in a minute, see if he's any decent. And we are predicted to finish fourth in the league. From what I know, there's 12 teams, 10 or 12 teams in the league. We'll check that out in a second. It is a brand new league. It's a league that's only been going a few years. What we're going to do in this episode, we're going to find out everything about the squad, the league... Uh, all the other teams in the league and our objectives and all that sort of fun stuff. And so we play at the And Harry Sports Complex. You would have seen that at the end of the intro. That's the stadium we're playing in. 20,000 capacity apparently. And we've got a training facility which is below average. And below average youth facilities. But average youth recruitment. That's definitely something we're going to have to improve if we are going to be going and trying to build a nation as well. And so, club background. Founded in 2014, Mumbai City are a professional club currently playing in the Super League. The club play their home games at Andheri Sports Complex. And so, yep, no real competition history of note. Like I say, it's a brand new league. I think it was founded in 2014, which is why Mumbai City got founded. And so, next screen, this is apparently our best 11, according to the chairman, I think. Is that according to the chairman or is that according to the assistant manager? Not quite sure, but they think we should play a 4-1-2-2-1. Two, two, one. That might be something I have a look at. We are going to have a look at the squad, like I say. And so, we've got Singh in goal. Oh, I can click on these. Uh, ooh, he, he's a bit He's a bit aggressive. He's a bit aggressive. I'd better keep him on side because I don't want him knocking me out. That's not very good. Oh, okay. And then at left back, we've got Ali, Anwar Ali, central defender on defenders, his best role in duty. Does not look that good. These players look even worse than my Kings Lynn ones. Was expecting them to be about the same level. Yeah, nothing special there again. Well, just showing just how big this challenge is going to be. Oh, but I like our striker. He looks decent. 31 years old though. But he's played 35 times for the Tunisian national team. So he's got to be half decent, hasn't he? And what about on the wings? We all know how I like playing with wingers. So these have got to be decent. Diego Carlos. Brazilian. Ooh. I like having a Brazilian. That sounded wrong. 
That sounded wrong. You know what I mean, people. A decent acceleration, decent fitness, decent pace. Dribbling and corners are okay. He's going to have to improve his crossing or we're going to have to get someone else in who's better at crossing than him. And Sogu as well. 16 pace, 15 acceleration, 34 years old. How are you still this fit? That is mental. And crossing of 10. He might be alright for a season at least. And so, yeah, we're going to go into squad more in depth in a second. And so, club vision. Here we go. Alright, and so, they want us to sign players under the age of 23 for the first team, but do not sign players over the age of 30. Okay, that's fairly acceptable. Work within the wage budget. I can do that. I've done that at Kings Lynn for four seasons now. About the only thing I did do at Kings Lynn so far. And sign players to sell for a profit. Yep, that's okay. And end of current season, they want us to finish in the top half of the league. That should be doable. And Hero Super Cup is not important. Okay. And then by the end of next season, we want to become recognised as best of the rest. What does that mean in like a 10 or 12 team league? Not quite sure. Does that mean finish second? Second or third? Something like that? Not quite sure. If you know, let me know down below. And that's when my current contract expires. And then for all the seasons after that, if I am still here, they just want us to continue being recognised as best of the rest. Well, I say balls to that. We are going to be looking to win the league in three seasons. I think we can say. I think that's going to be my target. And so next screen... Schedule a press conference to meet the media. Yep. And get an advice report from the backroom staff. Yep. And you know what? We are going to go through the press conference for both of these in this video. Just to make the video a little bit longer. And to see if it mentions anything about managing both the national and the club team. And so here we are with the Indian screen. The Indian FA have named Bad Jokes as a new national coach. I'm going to be splitting my time between the two jobs. And they think that because I've got a total lack of previous experience, this could be the right role for me and could provide the perfect stage to showcase my skills. Very much hope it can. And here we go. We are ranked 95th in the world. Wow. We have got a lot, a lot of work to do here. Pakistan is, of course, our main rival. The captain is a fella called Sunil Chateri. Can't click on him just yet. Apparently the highest ever world ranking is 94th. Surely India have been higher than that. Surely. Again, if you know, let me know down below. But if that is true, it should be fairly simple to get us higher than that. And to get us a new highest world ranking. And then facilities. Our stadium is a 58,000 seater stadium. Not bad. Quite like that. And it's called the Jahariel Nehru, Nehru Stadium. I've, I've, I've absolutely got that spot on, haven't I, people? And this is what they think is the best team for their national team. A 4-2-3-1. Again, we'll have a look at all these in more detail in just a second. And yet, a press conference for that as well. And let's just save that right there. Alright, the first screen we are on is of course the one for Mumbai. First thing they want us to have a look at is the Mumbai players in the last year of contract. And how many have we got in the last year of their contract? Uh, quite a lot, if not the whole squad. So that's fun. Yay! I'm going to have to go through and sort all that out at some point. But a thing that is quite uh, promising, is the, the word I'm looking for here, is that we've got quite a few players who are rated 4.5 or 5 star. So that is very nice to see. Let's have a look at some of these. Mohamed Larbi. You are an attacking midfielder centre. And you do look quite good, to be fair. 31 years old. What country is that? Tunisia. Yeah, and you've got four appearances. No goals as of yet for them. 
But yeah, decent looking player there. 12 agility, 13 anticipation, 12 composure, 13 dribbling. Yeah, you are definitely going to be very good. And we've got another player as well in the same position who's also quite good apparently. Oh, you're 33, but I think you look better than that fella. Paolo Machado, I think you're going to be my first choice over Mohamed Labi, if I'm honest. And so, let's have a look. What else have we got? Mato Gurdjic, you are a experienced centre-back. Don't like the word experienced. All the players we've seen so far are over 30. And the board don't want us to have any players over 30. I think at the end of this season, there's going to be quite an overhaul. But yeah, you look good. Where have you played before? You have played in Croatia and Hungary mostly. So a fairly decent career for him. And then 34-year-old Jesus Christ. How old are all these players? All my best players are over 30. Mm, that's not that's not ideal. And they're all on quite big money as well. 2,100 for Diego Carlos. Three and a half grand for our striker. I mean Chermiti. How have you done before? Not brilliant. 261 games in your career. 80 goals. So that's what? 80, 160, 240. One in just about every three and a quarter games. So, yeah, not ideal. But, yeah, okay. And so, who else have we got to have a look at? Anyone else who's pretty decent? Uh, I think we've looked at all these now, haven't we? Diego Carlos, have we looked at you? No, we haven't. You are the Brazilian, and you are a left winger, 14 acceleration, 12 pace. And so, yeah, so that is one of the major things I'm going to have to deal with at the end of this season. Probably let all of these go, free up some wages, and bring the average age of the squad down. And then here's just a message about India appointing me as their manager. And India, if I indicate their expectations... Minimum expectation is that we attempt to be competitive in World Cup qualification. Okay, so I've only got to be competitive. Have we been drawn in that yet? Do we know who we're playing in that? Yes, we do. We are playing against Cambodia, Kuwait, Saudi Arabia and T Tajikistan. We should be getting out of that group, I think. Because where are all these ranked? 168 for Cambodia. Uh, Kuwait, you are 159th. Uh, Saudi Arabia, you might be higher than us. You are 69th. And Tajikistan, 119th. So our only real competition should be Saudi Arabia. But I'm confident we can get out of that group, uh, he says, without even, uh, without even having looked at the squad. So, yeah. Welcome to the India setup. Thank you very much. And Club and Vision, yeah, we've already seen that. I'm quite happy with that. I'm happy to go along with that. And then squad selection rules. Squad must have no more than seven foreign players. No more than 25 players in total. No more than six foreign players. And no more than four foreign players in the playing 11. Okay. Okay, so I quite like that. I like that last rule, especially. That means you've got to have a lot of Indian players in your team, which can only help the national team. And so, introductory advice summary. Suitable captain, Mato Gurdjic. You are our experienced centre-back. I remember you. And so, let's go and have a look at the tactics. Let's see who, who it says here has got the best leadership and the best teamwork. It says that the best leadership is Diori, but Grudic has the best combination of leadership and teamwork. So we are going to name him as the captain. And Alan Diori, are you any decent? You're not. You are, you are awful. I think I'd have better attributes than this fella. Jesus wept. Free for finishing and you call yourself a striker. Have you ever scored any goals? Uh, unsurprisingly, according to this, no. You are going straight out of my club. Have you just joined us? No, you haven't. Thank God for that. Because my days offer to clubs for absolutely nothing. I'd be happy to get a fiver for him. 
Let's see if we can get 10,000. Be a bit cheeky. Get him out of the club. And Ravi Kumar, you are a goalkeeper. And you also are blooming dreadful. Jesus. Starting to understand what sort of challenge we're going to have here, people. Have you just joined us? No, you haven't. Again, thank God for that as well. Let's get you gone. Uh, unspecified. Let's just see if we can get any money for you. And Shahin... Shah oh, my days. The names. Shahandra. Shahandra Singh? That's what I'm going for. Shahandra Singh. And you are a midfielder. One star again. Jesus. You, and all of that. You've got one for penalty taking, one for long throws, four for free kick taking, two for finishing. <laughs> Get out of my club as well. Rolos. What is going on here with the quality? Russ. Again, unspecified. Let's see if we can get anything for you. And Sarfak Galoy. Galoy, you are out for three to five weeks. What, what have you been up to, son? What have you been up to? That's a weird place to be getting an injury. I don't want to know. Whatever Sarfak gets up to in his own time is up to him. But when you return, are you actually any good? One and a half star current, two star potential ability. Ooh, nine heading. You're six foot, so you're just a little bit shorter than me. Nine heading, seven tackling. You're not ideal. You might be okay for a no-nonsense centre-back. Maybe. I'll see how you get on in the friendlies, my man. And then Vigness. Vigness, I'm, I'm not going to try and pronounce that second name. You are again one star. Ooh. Wowzers. But you are on the left-hand side where we've got two players who are quite decent. So you, I can very happily let you go as well. And so transfer list you. And Rainier Fernandez. Uh, one and a half star again. Two star potential. A central midfielder. First touch of 16. Seven passing. Nine technique. You might actually be okay. Your star rating might be... Uh, what's the word? Misleading. That's the word I'm looking for. That might be misleading. You're going to get half a chance, my man. And then Amin Chamiti, we've looked at him, haven't we? He's our main striker. Yep, he's the one who's played for Tunisia. So he's definitely staying put. You as well, we have looked at. You are staying put. Larby, we haven't looked at you. Uh, or have we? We may have done. If I am going through plays we've already looked at, I do apologise. And yeah, we have, because you're five star. You are an attacking midfielder centre. And okay, so you're definitely staying put. Anwar Ali. Have we looked at you? I'm not quite sure. You've got eight for heading, six for marking, seven for tackling. You could be okay. Yeah, again, most of these I'm going to have to have a look at in friendlies and see how they get on. Sulvik Chakraborty. What a name that is. You are staying put just for that last name. Chakraborty. Oh, I love that. And yet one star current, one star potential. Oh my God, but you do look dreadful. Oh my gosh, decent acceleration, decent pace, awful crossing, wow. Yeah, I'm going to keep you on for the minute, but I'm not sure about anything in the future. And now this guy, Val Pure, Val Pure, I think that's how you pronounce it. He's got ones, he's got ones in his, in his attributes. You are out of my football club, son. Nobody with a one plays for me. Jesus, this challenge is going to be phenomenal. Finally, someone who looks half decent. Two and a half star current, three star potential ability for Shabas Bose. And he is a left-sided fullback. He can mark, he can tackle. He's got a decent first touch, decent heading, decisions of 14, natural fitness of 18. And pace and stamina of 11 and 12. You I'm happy with. You are staying put. Kunal Sawan is our goalie. Half a star. Rolos. Yeah, you are out of the club. You 
you, I will see you out the front door straight away. And as well as that, who's after that? Rolling, rolling Borges. Let's just keep rolling, 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 rolling. And we are actually going to keep him. We are actually going to keep him. He's two star. Defensive midfielder. Decent first touch. Decent passing. Decent tackling. Work rate of 16. Concentration of 13. Stamina 13. Yeah, I'm fairly happy with him. He's 27 years old. Just getting to his prime. So yeah, we're going to keep hold of him and see how he gets on. And then Diego Carlos, we've looked at you. And da -da -da -da, Mohamed Rafiq, one and a half star current and potential ability. <sighs> yeah, you're leaving my football club. There is going to be quite the overhaul, it's looking like, at the minute. And so, yeah, just click all that. And then da -da 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 -da, Ma Modu Sogu. Veteran winger, 34 years old. Yep, you're the one we've already looked at. You are decent. Serge Kevin, three star, three and a half star potential. Nice. And he's only 24. Oh, you are going to be our new striker, son. When the old guy up front, I mean Chimiti, when he retires or leaves the club, you are going to be our new striker. You look like you could actually be quite decent. You're going to get some games this year, my man. And um, Bipin Singh, is that how you pronounce it? Sorry if I'm getting these names wrong. One star current, one star potential ability. Yeah, you are out of the club. Yep, I can get with you. And so let's go and see if we can get £1,000 for you. And after that, it's Pratik Trajuri. No, it's not. It's Amrinder Singh. You are our main goalkeeper, aren't you? And you look... You look decent, but you do look mental. I'm not going to be upsetting you, my man. So you can stay for as long as you want. And then Pratik Chadhelwi, 30 years old, central defender. One star on both current and potential. I'll keep, I'll, I'll keep an eye on him. I'll keep a look at him. Look at those ears. Look at those ears, people. I thought I had big ears. I, they are proper Gary Lineker ears, isn't they, people? Wowzers. And then after that, Sorab does half a star current, one half star potential ability. Yeah, you are leaving as well, my man. Where are you? Offer to clubs. Transfer list, set player. Surplus two requirements. And then Bidyan De Singh. One star on both. You're a central midfielder, six first touch, seven passing, eight tackling. Okay, technicals, not terrible, I think, for this level. And 11 decisions, 15 work rate, only 10 stamina, though. That's a little bit worrying. And so, last but not least in this team is Pradnal. Yeah, yeah Pranjal. I think that's how you pronounce it. Is it Pranjal or is it Pranjal? Pranjal, I'm going to go for. And he's a 20-year-old young striker. Three and a half star silver stars. One and a half star potential ability. And yeah, you're not going to get that much better, are you, son? So, Arrivederci. And transfer list you. Offer to clubs. And so, that is all the players in the Mumbai City squad currently looked at. We have listed 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10 of them. So there is going to be quite the overhaul before the next episode. And as well as that, let's have a look at the Indian squad as well. And let's see, let's see how good these players are here. We've got one who's 34. Why is everybody so old in India? Have you just stopped giving birth or something over there? Jesus Christ. Sunil Chetri. You play for Benga Bengaluru. And you're a journeyman striker. But you do look quite good. Your mentals are okay. You're determined, which I like. Teamwork of 19. 17 work rate. Finishing of 12. And so, if you're a journeyman, where you are, wow, you are definitely a journeyman. 
You've been all over India. You've been back and forth between Bengaluru and Mumbai. And Mohu Bagan as well. And Churchill Bros. Loki's old team. Loki Doki's old team. He's played for them. He's played in America as well for a season. And he played for Sporting's B team in Portugal. So yeah, that is definitely what you call a journeyman. And so yeah, he looks decent. I'm quite happy with him. And then our goalkeeper for the national team, Subrata Paul, 32 years old. Very starey. Very, very starey. I don't want to look at him too much because I might just shrink because I'm getting quite scared of the fella. As I should do. Look at that aggression again. Aggression 16. He's very eccentric. Uh, 11 for kicking. Determination 16. Flair 16. And we'll just have a look at the best players in the national team. And then we'll go and check out the league rules. And then I shall leave you there for today. And so, where shall we go? Sandes Jigan. Jingan, I think that's how you pronounce it. Four and a half star current. Five star potential ability. He looks good. He plays for the Kerala Blasters, which is an awesome name for a football team. And yeah, he's a central defender, 17 bravery, 12 positioning, 12 heading, 13 jumping reach. So yeah, he looks very good. And also, I might use this national team to try and get some players in for, um, what do we call it, for Mumbai. And then there is the first Mumbai player in the national team, Amrinder Singh. Very nice to see him in there. And then Sue Brutter Paul, you're the one I've just looked at. And then who else have we got to have a look at? What about strikers? Have we got any other decent strikers? He he. He he. Oh, he, look, he looks lovely. He looks like a nice guy. But he's out for four to five months. That might just derail your development, son. You have played 56 times for us. And you have scored 23 goals. So you was quite decent. It will be interesting to see how you get on when you come back to fitness. And anybody else I want to be having a look at here. I see Kurinyan. I think that's how you pronounce it again. Again, we're taking the Loki Doki rule. However I pronounce something is completely correct. And you are a winger on the left hand side. 11 acceleration, 12 pace, 7 crossing, 8 dribbling. So if these are the players that are getting in the national team, we're getting some sort of level as to where players in our team should be. So, yeah, we're going to be using this as a guide for where people should be in the club team as well. And so I think that's everyone we're going to look at for the national team. We've looked at a few of the players there. We've looked at the World Cup squad or the World Cup group even. We've looked at the league player, at the players for the league team. And we're just going to have a look at the league rules because I don't want to do a Loki Doki and get caught out by some weird and mysterious rules. So let's go there. And so it's the usual three points for a win, 12 teams in the league. One point for a draw, as you would expect. 22 games a season, so that's fairly nice. Fairly short season. Decent prize money here. I have got to, um, I've got to say that this is a slightly fantasy database. In real life, India don't have promotion or relegation. But we do have on this database. So that's why the prize money is a little bit higher than what you might expect it to be for India. And so there's promotion, there's relegation, and I have got all the Indian leagues loaded. In fact, after we've done this, I'll show you guys all the leagues I do have loaded. And so, disciplinary rules, one match ban after four yellow cards, not the five. Okay. One match ban after four yellow cards after that, and then three, and then two. Fairly strict that. And then one match ban for every additional yellow card. Oh, that's harsh. And then one match ban for every red card. Yep, as you would expect. Bottom two teams get relegated. And squad registration. Yep, maximum of seven foreign players in the squad. And stadium requirements. Terracing is permitted in stadiums. And I do think in this database, 
this league takes teams into the Asian Champions League? Because I know in real life there is a little bit of a divide between this league and the Hero League. As where is it? Indian Hero League. No, okay, it's not in this database. Oh, there it is. Yeah, there's a little bit of a divide between these two leagues as to what is the best league or the top league in India. So in real life, this one gets the Champions League spot. The one we are in would get the Europa League spot. But I think this is below us in in this database. I could be wrong. And so, yeah, if I am wrong, if you know differently, let me know again down below. So I do think this league takes us into the Champions League, which is very, very nice to see. And so let's have a look at our finances before we go. We have got 1.5 million in the bank at the minute, but we are expected to lose about half of that. So friendlies, friendlies, friendlies. I'm going to try and get some big European names in over the summer, see if that can help us boost the finances. And so, guys, I'm trying to think, is there anything else we want to be having a look at? Uh, let's have a look at the team report just before we do go. Squad depth. And so, yep, we've got a few decent players here. And so, yep, you, if you want to pause this and have a look at this in more depth, you can. But left back and right back are definitely places we need to improve, as well as in goal, I do think. And so, guys, if there's anything I've missed, if there's anything you want to see in the next episode, please do let me know, and I'll be happy to show it to you. But I think that is just about everything for today. In fact, transfer budget, one last thing. 600k transfer budget, that should be okay. I think, and so yep, yeah, now that is everything, I've kept you guys and girls long enough, and so guys, if there's anything else you want to see in the next episode, let me know either down below, or follow me on Twitter, at Bad Jokes Gaming, let me know on there, or on Discord, join the Passion for FM Discord, and the website, and the Twitter, and the Facebook, check all that good stuff out as well let me know on any one of those platforms if there's anything else you want to see in the next video as regards to introducing the league and the series and all that good stuff and yep guys that is where i'm going to leave it for today please subscribe and pop a massive thumbs up down below if you have enjoyed that video and if you are new and if you're very much looking forward to the rest of this series as indeed I am. And so guys. Yep that's where we're going to leave it. I shall see you later. Bye.